here's the mail it never fails it makes me want to wag my tail <laughs> i got an unboxing that i am pretty freaking excited about like what am i not excited about i love technology in general i have since i was a kid and here i am as an adult and i get to do it a lot so i love it love it love it love it So this box has all kinds of goodies in it. This is what we're doing the video on, the um, AC router. Super excited about that. I got an Xbox One, so I went ahead and picked up Battlefield 4. Um, I got Call of Duty Ghosts in the mail yesterday. So if you want to play with me, my Xbox Live Gamer Tag is WWJoshDO. If you want to play with me on PSN, I have Battlefield uh, 4 and Call of Duty Ghosts for the PS3 and the PS4. And I'm WWJoshDW on there. So I got a little battery pack to charge the controller and I also got a controller because one of my friends Jason he's been getting me addicted to PC games and I play Battlefield and Call of Duty on PC as well but this video is about the router so let's go ahead and uh, take all this down the stairs and there we go all right here we go we're back um, if you are a subscriber of mine and if, if you're not Please go ahead and do so now. I promise you, you won't regret it. I have tons of videos coming. But I unboxed the AC66U that I currently have downstairs powering my house with internet. And this has been my favorite router ever. And, uh, well, now we have this bad boy. No more AC1750. We're now on AC1900. Now, what I'm going to do with this router... Uh, I'll tell you later. You might want to just follow me on Twitter to, uh, you know, <laughs> figure out what I'm going to do with this router. Basically, this says 1300 plus 600, and this is 1.3 to 450. Right there. So, you're going to get a little bit faster, um, the same exact, like, 5 gigahertz, but I think for the 2.4 gigahertz, it'll go to a maximum of 600 compared to 450. And this has USB 3.0, and this has USB 2.0. So... Very excited about it. And one of the big key differences is, you know what? I'll just get my router in a minute after I unbox this and I'll just show them side by side. All right, so we'll start by, I guess, also showing you the back of it. All right, so it says five gigahertz, three times faster than generic wireless N900 router, smart sync. Uh, ultimate performance, there's the AC68U, uh, or 66U, sorry, too many model numbers. Let's go ahead and shut up and get this thing out of its box. It looks like it's kind of open a little bit already. Like it wasn't handled properly be the male people, but oh well, what can you do? All right, so we have the router. Let's open this thing up. It says another thing it says, it says Windows 8. Um, of course, the AC66U works at Windows 8 too. I mean, I'm using Windows 8.1. Unfortunately, I um, it came with my computer and my ASUS G750JH. I can't. I don't know. I I thought about downgrading Windows 7, but a lot of times you have driver issues with a laptop because it wasn't. It, it when it comes to a certain OS, your your uh, your drivers are meant to work for that OS. So. Um, this is freaking, you, oh, I can't talk. I'm at a loss for words. I'm super, super excited about this. You have the router. Go ahead and open this up. Love, you, you're going to see just, if you don't really care about the extra performance, there's one thing you're going to care about and one thing that may make your mind up between um, between the AC66U and the AC68U. So we have a CD for setup, AC6, AC68U. We have a VIP warranty notice. We have a wireless, um, whoa, a pretty big guide on all the details of this thing. We have a power brick, which is similar to a laptop, just like the um, my ASUS X202E, my touchscreen laptop that I did an unboxing video on. Same exact, this looks like it could work on my laptop. That's crazy. 
And then you have, of course, a very much needed Ethernet cable. I will definitely be using that. And then you have your three antennas. So I'll go ahead and put all this back in the box. And then let me go get the other router. You know what, actually, let me just show you this real quick. We're gonna put these on. All right, there you go. There you have your antennas, which you can face in any direction you want to or need to. The This stand is what I was talking about. Uh, LED on and off, so you can turn the LEDs on and off. You've got your USB 3.0, your Gigabit Ethernet, your USB 2.0. So if you have a USB 2.0, you can put it in there. And if you have a USB 3.0, you can put it in there. You have your reset button. You have your um, probably the button that either you can configure it to turn off wireless. You can configure it to do that. Um, oh, there's the WPS button right there, and Wi-Fi on and off. So actually, it's got a separate button. Um, for Wi-Fi on and off, and then it's got a button for WPS. There you go, nice and up close. WPS, so you can uh, like press a one button touch to get your devices to configure to it. I've never in a million years used that feature. I always just type in my Wi-Fi password. And then there's the back of the unit itself with all the buttons and you know ports and everything. So let's go ahead and get the AC66U and bring it up here. All right, here we go. Here's the dusty AC66U. <laughs> but uh, real quick what I was talking about this is the X202E if you want to see a video on this pretty cheap little laptop here that's touchscreen just search www.joshdew and then ASUS so www.joshdew and ASUS anyways here's the power brick that comes with the X202E touchscreen laptop here's the power supply that comes with the freaking <laughs> AC68U so 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 similar now that may not be a big deal to you but i mean it's just cool i'm excited i'm everywhere all right let's get to the uh comparison real quick and then in this video all right so the biggest thing between these two units right here is not only do you get the usb 3.0 which you don't get with this not only do you get the 600 megabit per second network um as well as the 1.3 you get, it stands up. It freaking, oh, I gotta get something else. All right, I'm sorry. I'm super excited. I am very excited. <laughs> All right, so with the 6 u you, you, uh, you, you, you sit down like this, right? And you have like maybe a couple or a few millimeters of clearance between the, you know, whatever this thing's sitting on and where the heat's coming out with all the vents at the bottom. It does come with this guy right here. Here's the big freaking deal to me. You put this on, you slide it up, it sits up like that. That's cool and all. It looks very similar to the 68U. But, look at this. All the cables are up here. So when I have my Xbox One, my PlayStation 4, my PlayStation 3, and my Asus G750JH uh, Republic of Gamers gaming laptop, um, I like to be wired because I get my whole 120 megabit per second download and my 25 megabit per second upload. I get every single bit of that with these routers because the gigabit ethernet and the uh, gigabit wireless AC that both of these routers uh, give you. But you have your Xbox One, your PS4, your PlayStation 3, your Xbox 360, your laptop, whatever. You have all those cables hanging out, you know, like... Let's just unroll this real quick. You have your power cable, you have your uh, USB um, thumbstick, flash drive, what um, network, USB uh, 3G, 4G dongle, whatever you have. And then you have your ethernet that's going to your router or your modem, and then you have four things plugged in. So you have all these wires coming out the back and it, or out the off the top, and it looks, you know, I didn't like it. So what I did was I just took this thing off, set it down like this and flipped these up. Now the very first time I set eyes on the AC68U that came out so, so, so shortly after getting the 66U was it stands up like this and all the cables come out the bottom. 
So you have your power plugged in here. You have your uh, ethernet plugged into your modem. You've got your, you know, your Xbox, PlayStation, your laptop, uh, whatever you need plugged into here. And then you have your USB ports in the back. And all of this is behind the unit. So it looks nice and clean. The unit was meant to be stood up like this. And that's beautiful because when it's standing up, Look at all this area that the heat has to go. I can tell you that the 66U gets very, very hot because it's a very fast device. You know, the processor's, you know, very like high end. It's got tons of RAM. It's these, these are top of the line routers. You can't get any better than this. And the name Asus right there should let you know that you're buying a product that's going to last. I have. Uh, a few ASUS tablets. I have my ASUS G750JH. I previously had the ASUS G74SX, which videos are on my channel if you want to go back and watch those. I have the ASUS X202E. My wife has an ASUS Ascentio, or I think it's Ascentio, desktop PC. It, I have so many ASUS products in my house that it's not funny. If it's made by ASUS, I know it's going to work. I know if it breaks, they're going to fix it. I... I Asus is an amazing company that is, an, you know, they stand behind their products and they make amazing products. Um, one thing I want to cover real quick is I did this. I did a separate video on this little guy right here. Uh, I'll try to run link to it in the description. Again, you can just uh, search www.joshdew, which is my YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Google Plus, um, my universal global name, and then put Asus next to it and search. So if we take off this little guy right here, we can put this little dish antenna on and then there we go. We can take the dish and if you're not getting a very good signal in your room, you go, okay, my room's to the back left of my house. I'll just go ahead and face it over there. Um, so it's pretty freaking cool. I mean, now you have it facing towards whatever you need it to face towards and you just move it around and whatever. It's pretty freaking awesome. So there you have it. We have the AC68U to the left, which is the newest. Um, and I knew that the moment I spent $220 on this router, I know they're gonna release a new one in a couple weeks. And more than likely, I'll look at that router and go, is it worth the upgrade? Um, to me, being able to stand it up, all the heat gets, you know, uh, this, um, ah, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm too excited, I can't freaking think. All the heat gets, you know, uh, there's so much room for it to breathe, com uh, unlike this thing. And again, you can stand this one up. People do it, uh, and I used to do it, but all the cables are going out the top, and it just look it's top heavy, and it looks, you know, I didn't like it at all. So this is my new my new baby. I'm gonna go plug this in downstairs, set it up, and end this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button. I post daily on Instagram, so please follow me on there. I also have a Twitter where I post daily, so please follow me on there as well. I have Facebook, Google+, I have a gaming channel where I post Call of Duty, Battlefield, Grand Theft Auto. I post just anything gaming related, even videos for my Nvidia Shield. I also have a second channel where I've been using it a lot more lately where I post videos for my phone, just quick update videos. So if you want to stay up to date on the latest videos that I'm working on, um, please freaking follow me. Like I'm fixing to put a picture on Instagram of this thing and let everybody know that I'm working on this video that you're watching right now. Of course, I got to edit it and then upload it. So it's going to, whatever. This is what would Josh do and I'm out. Yeah, that's definitely going to be the thumbnail. And as you saw earlier, if you really wanted to, you could buy three of these and replace all three antennas with these little dishes if you really wanted to.